Very important you understand. Now, this is what makes leverage interesting. Okay, to go back to the physical example. Okay. <laughs> he said he doesn't. He did, did the brother not say it didn't matter? Did he not say it didn't matter? But, 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 for demonstration, I didn't mind losing 300 okay, So I'm demonstrating what happens when you don't mind losing money. Okay. So, okay. I thought it was the way you parked Now, I explained. The positive, that's the negative of leverage. And the positive, the positive of leverage is if I bought $120 worth of something and I only used $20 of my own money and it went up in price 100%, I made like a 2,000% return. Okay, that's good. So when things go your way, they go your way very well. When things don't go your way, they go against you very, very badly. To give an example now, are you because you don't trust me? Huh? <laughs> Did you no, trust I was me? putting it back in my thing. To give you an example, I want you to do the punch like he did. Okay. okay. Punch my hand. Okay. Do it again. Do it like you mean it. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. No, Go ahead. Do it again. More, more than okay. Than that. <laughs> okay. He missed. Do it again. He missed again. Oh. One more time. Uppercut. When he misses, he misses, but he's able to get his hand back. Right? Think about that as a cash punch. Now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a leverage punch. Right? Okay. Oh, I miss it. I'm all out the door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, I'm glad that happened. You know why it happened? You know why that happened? You pushed me in the table. Why did that happen? Tragic. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Why did it happen? You use all your money. Use all your money. Not quite. No. What happened? You use everything you have. Because you're taking a huge chance and like when you when you. Oh, 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 oh. listen. Go ahead. When you. When you're using leverage, you're taking a huge chance, and if it, if you miss or something happens, you not only lose everything, but you have to pay the people back. So you're you're like losing more money. That's the concept. That's it. In a nutshell. If I did this, right, and I miss, I would came over. But I came back, came running through, through the punch, flip, back, spit all the way down the hall, and run right after me, flipped over the chair. And I did that without moving. Huh? You did that without moving. Okay, so now you understand I gave you a, phys a physical example of the difference between cash and leverage, and I gave you a financial example. Okay, now in order to get leverage, usually you have to borrow money from somebody. I'm going to teach you how to access leverage without borrowing money. You just buy something, and leverage is built in. Okay, does anybody know a way to do that? Using stock markets and bond markets and brokerages? Bitcoins? Anybody know? Oh, Bitcoin. Options. 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 Okay. Options are a way where you can access leverage without having to borrow money. The reason is, mathematically, they're put together to give you leverage. Which means when things go your way, what happens? They go your way. They go very well. Imagine I came back here, I came running, I did this punch, but I actually hit him. Right? You would have a bad one, right? You would have been that stuff. Right? Because if it goes my way, oh, thank you. Back. Okay. So, if it goes your way, it goes very, very well, like that big flying punch. If it doesn't go my way, like I missed, you saw how I'm flipping and falling through the chair? So, with options, we do the same thing, right? But we have a built in safety net. With the options, you can only lose the amount of money that you put in. Well, with the regular leverage, you can lose more than you put in. So, what's an option? I will give, who has the singles? He will give a dollar to anybody who gets that question right. <laughs> what's an option? Yeah. A securities option, what is it? A securities option, what is it? You could, but that's a definition of an option. And I'm trying to give away money, but I'm not going to give away 20. Huh? Half money? Who said huh? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Wait, what? You said two, he already, he already two examples of vocal noise. Come on. Come on, step up. What's an option? Said, what? You said huh? I said what? An opportunity. <laughs> an opportunity. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you what an option is. I didn't get to give away my dollar. Is it like different ways to invest your money? Like if you were to like short a stock or buy a lot of the stock, like are those like all different types 
options. Close. Messiah, what's an option? Just the option to buy or sell a stock, or not just a stock, but a lot of things. It's a contract, like he said, that gives you the option to either buy or sell something else in the future. A stock option is a, I haven't forgotten come here. A stock option, a stock option is a contract that allows you to buy or sell a stock. So if you have Facebook stock trading at roughly $28, okay? If you buy a call option, that means you can call somebody who has that option and give you the stock. So Facebook, let's say it's trading at $30. Okay, I'm gonna give you a chance not to do the push-ups or pay. Would you rather push-ups or pay? Push-ups. Really? Nobody wants to pay? Okay. Okay. Do the push-ups right quick. We'll talk. I'll give you a chance. We'll give you some. Go ahead. Three push-ups. You don't mind doing the push-ups? Of course not. Go ahead. Okay. So, Facebook stock is trading at $30. I'm gonna buy an option, right? To buy Facebook stock at $35. Good job, my friend. At $35. So, Facebook stock, FB, that's the ticker price for Facebook, is trading at $30 per share. So for every share costs $30, we're going to buy an option. It's called an option. Uh, Facebook OX. That's the option ticker price, right? It's selling for $2 and allows you to buy Facebook stock at $35 a share. Okay, Facebook, we pay $2 for the option to buy Facebook stock at $30 a share. This option contract means you can buy 100 shares of Facebook at $35 a share. That's what the option contract means. We pay $2 for that contract. You can do that right now. This time next week, Facebook goes up to $60 a share. Oops, $60. Big up in price, okay? How much is that option contract worth, assuming nothing else has changed? We're looking just at price. How much would that option contract be worth, with what you know? A dollar to the first one to get the answer. If they get it within 20 seconds. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Fifteen, twenty. They didn't make it. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead. How much is it worth? The option. This is difficult. Messiah, come up and see if you can help. 375. Okay, come here. How much? How much? 375. How do you get that? Come here, Messiah. Come on, right? First, tell me how you got it. Because. Speak, it, speak. Speak up. It was originally $2 and went up to $60. And what? Wait. From the option was $2. The stock price that the option was written on went up to $60. How many stocks did you buy? It gives you the option to buy 100 shares at $35. I want you to use the math and calculate the price of the option, assuming no volatility, no time value. Go ahead. And I'll explain those terms in a minute. Option, you pay $2. The strike price is $35. The strike price is the price that you can buy the shares at and sell them at, at $35. When we bought it, Facebook was at $30. Next week, now, it went up to $60. Right now, Facebook is at $60. You have options at $35. How much is one option worth? The option is much higher. Yeah. Assuming no time value, no volatility, we'll go over that in a minute. How much is it worth? I think one thing we're going to have to tell them. Okay, good. First, you calculate how much is it worth. It's worth $25. Why? Because people when they buy options? It's a call option, by the way, to buy. It's a call. Call option means you buy the stock at 35, okay? When people buy an option to buy a stock, and there's no, the option is about to expire. So you have a certain amount of time to buy the stock once. Well, let's skip that part. I assume no time value, no volatility, just using the price. Okay? I'll get to that part. I want you to just tell them how you got the price you got. Minus 35 comes up. Okay, so if you can buy one stock for $60, I mean, if you can buy the stock at $35 and it's trading at $60, if you had the option to do that now, would you do it? Would you do it? No. Would you do that? 
Um, it's too late now. <laughs> you have a skirt on, should I let you go? Get the answer right, I'll let you go. Yes. Why? <coughs> Would you do it? Um, Another arm. Um. She doesn't have a skirt. You don't have a skirt either? Okay, come, come, come up, come up. Oh, this is actually pretty simple if you look at this way. <laughs> right? I have a Mercedes Benz, or she has a Mercedes Benz, brand new. It costs $60,000. I have an option to buy that Mercedes Benz for $35,000. One, two, very good. Three, whoa, good job. Oh, Give it a good job. Good job, wow. Now, no, 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 no. We did the physical, now the intellectual, we're going to get this right. I have a Mercedes Benz, $60,000. That's how much it costs in the dealer. I gave you a piece of paper, and it says you could buy that Mercedes Benz for $35,000 instead. Would you buy it? Uh, yeah. Why? Well, because it's cheaper, but yeah, okay. I wouldn't have bought it. Exactly. So, if you go buy a $35,000 brand new and it's selling $60,000 brand new, you turn around and sell it to somebody, how much would you sell it for? Like $60,000 or Exactly. 60000 60, 60, 60. So if you sold it for sixty, dollars you made how much money? Um, uh, twenty-five. dollars And that's the answer that the side came up with. So, if the price goes, if the stock price shoots up to sixty, dollars and you go buy it for thirty five. dollars those options are worth $25. That's called in the money. It went in the money above the price of the stock by $25. Call option. Now, good job. Now we're going to explain that. Is there anybody who does not understand that? I got you. Is there anybody who did not understand that? Raise your hand. Okay, anybody else? Okay, yes. So the 25, is that how much you would make per share if you sold it? Right. Oh, okay. But you have a hundred of the stocks. You you, it gives you an option to buy a hundred stocks. Most people, that's called exercising the option. Most people would not exercise the option. They wouldn't bother buying the stocks. They just sell the option off to somebody else at a twenty-five dollar profit. So they only make twenty-five dollars. Yeah, well, that's a whole lot. You pay how much? You paid two dollars. And you sold it for. Twenty-five. What's your profit percent wise? Wait, hold on. Where, what happened to the thirty-five then? 35 is the strike price. You bought, them, bought the contracts for $2 each for the strike price at $35. Did you have to pay the 35 No, you paid the cost. So the, the contracts say X, Y, Z on a piece of paper. You pay money for that piece of paper. The piece of paper says $35 is the point at which you can start making money if the price goes up. You pay $2 for the right to buy the stock at $35. The stock originally traded at $30, so it wasn't really worth anything then. The stock goes up to $60, you're like, wow, I'm going to exercise my rights in my contract. And you exercise it, you sell it for $35 with the price at 60. And so you get the stock at 35 with the price at 60, you have a $25 profit. Instead of going back and forth and selling the stock, you just sell the contract to somebody else who hopes they can have the same benefit. Oh, okay. You only pay $2 for it, you have a $25 gain. Tell me, what is the profit? I'm going to get the both of your hands. What is the profit? If you paid $2 for the option contract and you got a $25 profit, percent-wise, how much did you make? I want to give up this dollar, so I'll give everybody 10 seconds. 92%. 92%? What's 100% of $2? Two. Okay. You got $25 already. That's not even close, right? So try it again. 10 seconds to answer, I give up the dollar. 2, 4, 6, 8, what? 920. 920? Is that right? 120%? Yeah. Is there a huh? Say it again. Is there a it sounds like it. Oh, well, wait, 100%, look, a hundred percent gain of two dollars would be two dollars. A thousand percent gain of two dollars would be twenty dollars. You're in at twenty-five dollars. So you made over a thousand percent. That's good. Why could you make how could you make over a thousand percent? There you go. See how much exercise you have to do to get the brains going? This option has a lot of leverage built in. Over a thousand percent of leverage. Yet, suppose the price goes from $30 down to $2. Okay? Or zero. Suppose it goes down to zero. How much money did you lose? 
$2. $2. You can never lose more than $2 as long as you're buying an option. So $2, you go, you go only lose 100%. The other way, you can lose more than 100%. But you can only lose 100%. That's the question. Yes, sir. So what, what is the $35? That is called the strike price. That's the price in the contract that tells you when you can start making money. <laughs> So, as long as. So, I have to wait till it hits $35 in order to sell it? Right? Well, you can sell it whenever you want, but if you sell it before it's $35, with everything you know that's for, you're going to sell it at a loss. Once it goes over $35, then you start making profit. $1, or every penny above $35, you start making profit. 